What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach. We got another episode of The Journey coming to you today. Before we get to today's episode, I've got a couple boxes here that I would like to open up for you. Do a little bit of an unboxing. Um, first one is this little guy right here. I say little, it's a giant box. Ogata Wave 3. Um, got it at Best Buy. I, uh, I, I've been wanting to upgrade microphone and camera for a while, so also bought face cam. We are going to go to 1080p, 60 frames a second on the webcam. Uh, this one, it's a Logitech. It's their nicer basic one. I don't remember the name of it. I've had it for a few years. Um, and the microphone I'm using now is the Razer Siren X. So we're doing a little bit of an upgrade. Um, let's get to it. First thing is the microphone. Actually, no. You know what? We're, we're going to open up the camera first. I imagine the microphone will come with a few more fun bits. Um, if I can open it, Jesus, I've already cut the, uh, um, the little sticker, clear plastic bits that holds it together. All right. Camera first. It's got a fun little box there with the little Elgato logo. Let's pull it out. Empty box goes over there. Quick start guide. All right, here is the box it's in. I would assume this bit is the camera, and this bit is like the cords and whatnot. Let's pry this thing out, maybe without breaking it. It's in a uh, those like paper bags. Oh, that's a fun little sticker. It's like a cloth paper bag thing. As I struggle to open these. Oh, cool. It is much bigger than the one I have. And it has this little lens cap on it. I assume it's just a pull. I don't know. I don't want to break it. And then the extra box. Is. I assume USB cable. Yeah. Long thick boy. Safety instructions. Toss it over there. USB A to USB C cable and I think that is everything that's in there cool one box down one to go um, and it does have is this the one no it doesn't okay never mind I thought it does look at that okay so this little bit the little uh, clippy bit on the bottom here I like folds out you can like clamp it to the top of the monitor also unscrews and I assume that that's the same thread size as just like a normal tripod which is pretty nifty um, I don't have enough room behind my computer to do that so I don't know, I'll fuck with it later. So you don't get, uh, we, we don't, we're not gonna mess with it. So, second box, bigger box. This is the one I'm, I think, more excited for. Um, because with the Wave 3, you get access to the, there, what program do they use? What's it called? Wave Link. That's what it is, which is just a 
audio mixer effectively. Um, it does the same things like an XLR amplifier would do, but it's all digital. Empty box and big old box. This thing is significantly larger than I was expecting. Good lord. And we get to see Zach struggle with boxes for a little bit longer. Ooh, this is a nice little... Um, it's real nice. Quick start guide. Um, cables, I assume... That can go down there for now. And then... It is wrapped in, it's not the same like paper cloth stuff. Um, it's like an actual, um, is it ESD, electrostatic discharge bag? And this thing is fucking huge, good lord. And it's heavy. It is heavy as all get out. Get the cute little Elgato logo here. Um, this is the one where the mute button is actually on top, but it's not an actual button. It's um, just a tap, which is actually kind of cool. So yeah, it is. It's got a little tilt. It's a little squeaky. Um, so yeah, uh, it has. It's USB C, as well. You can't really. Tell there it is USB C, but it also has like the headphone jack, which mine also has that. And then a little knob on the front. Ooh, and it's also a button. So that's neat. Uh, I think that's all. Yeah, just more cardboard. More dead trees. So. With all that, uh, we're going to open up this box, this little smaller box, USB cable, and a little thing wrapped up in paper. Ew! No kidding. Uh, it is a little thread adapter. So... Little stand comes off. I'm just unscrewing it. And good lord, this stand is hefty. Holy cow. And then I'm guessing, yep, let's thread this on. And then I'm assuming at this point it could just go on to a standard like boom mic. Little, I have a little boom arm here. I don't know if I can quite get it in the camera here. Hey, there he is. We're we doing a little ASMR. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm sure that will be fun to edit. So I'm guessing this can actually just screw onto that. So I really don't need the shock mount I ordered. So what we're going to do, we are going to get this and this all set up and see you in a second. We're going to play some Football Manager. Be with you in a moment. All right. We are going new camera. It looks fantastic. I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away. The microphone. I'm not white sold on it i need to tinker with wavelength wave wave wavelength wavelength that's what it is i know it wasn't length um wavelength and fiddle around with settings with it i i have the 
compressor on and noise reduction on. The noise reduction is an AI thing where it kind of automatically gets rid of background background noise. But in doing so, it also doesn't do a great job picking up the beginning of my sentence and end of the sentence and it kind of cuts it off. I need to fiddle with it a little bit more. I'm going to do some research, but I really just want to get into this episode and uh, just play some football manager. Overall, I am happy. I think it's a solid upgrade. It's not the cheapest upgrade in the world, right? The camera was 150. Microphone was about 150. Not cheap, but with content creation, you kind of have to spend money to make it look good. And I think this is a solid upgrade. And as you can see, you there, there's more here, right? It was kind of cut off here-ish. But now you can see the Lacazette. You can actually see it's a number nine. You can see the top row a little bit. Top row of my scarves. And down here, you can see the mess of boxes. Probably should have moved that, but doesn't matter. But there's so much more room, look how much of my... Anyway, very pleased with the camera. I'm very happy about that. But let's get in to today's episode. We are going to be playing Bayern Munich away from home in the Champions League and Manchester City at home in the Premier League. I just got beat by Newcastle 3-0. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Um, I'm hoping Vesco being back in the team is going to solve some problems. Maybe this is the issue. Now that I'm actually looking at it. Let's let's fix that, shall we? Training. Position role duty, you are a right back, wing back on attack. Highest elect, you are a center back as a ball playing defender on defend. Susa, you're good. Hugo, you are now a left back, wing back on defend. Sergio Hernandez is now a defensive midfielder. Playing as a ball winning midfielder on defend. Do we crank that up to a support? I think we do. Training, position role duty. Ball winning midfielder on support. Javaloso, you are now a midfielder. Deep, no, we are going to continue to train you as a uh, defensive midfielder because I have OCD and I don't like this. Sandro Rodriguez, you are going to now train as a right winger. As an inside forward on support. Barbia. Training. Position role duty. Attacking midfield central. Attacking midfielder on attack. Ribeiro, you are now on the left. Position role duty. Left. Winger on attack. Leon De Vries training. Striker pressing forward on attack. Hopefully that'll solve some problems. Not going to solve all of them. 
I don't know what's going to solve them. So let's just get to the Byron match and pretend we're not having those issues. Roberts, uh, you're not in training. Jesus, we're shorthanded. Bring in the U21s. Who do we have? Isherwood is not good enough. Lanieris, not good enough. You're injured. You're injured. LU. Oh. LU and. Lanieris will be on the bench for us. Uh, Hugo's going to get the start. Yep, he's going to get the start. In goal for our match against Bayern. Martin Diaz, we have Jose, Matthijs, Delict, Souza, and Hugo as our back four. Sergio? Sergio Hernandez, Javaloso in the midfield. Sandro Rodriguez, Joffrey Carbia, Rodrigo Ribeiro supporting Leon DeVries up front. Uh, DeVries needs to start scoring now. Like today, you need to be scoring. Give out these numbers real quick. Submit the numbers. So yeah, if uh, audio kind of cuts in and out weirdly, Pretend it doesn't. That is something I will be working on. Just give me a little bit of time to kind of dial in what I like. Um, pressure's all on them. Fucking cause an upset. Do whatever. We start off with the ball. We are in blue. Iron in their white and red. So we have gameplay at 60 frames. We have webcam at 60 frames. Hopefully that's gonna equal a little bit better quality overall. Jair with the shot, Diaz. It's right at him. He probably should have just caught it, but instead he puts it out for a Bayern corner. Ulrich standing over it. Going to the middle of the box, it is cleared only to Jair. That was far too easy. Musiala plays it off, tries to, and Byron score another corner. Akhomak, that's a fucking name. Offside ref? No. Oh, Jer. We should not have left Wrexham. Not a fan. Frederick. Jire. Jair. Jire. Probably Jire. Musiala, top of the box. Shot by somebody. Goes out for a corner. Ulrich standing over it again. Gonna be an in swinger from the left. Frederick back out to Ulrich, lining it up, trying to go near post. Diaz is there. Getting absolutely pummeled. Far post this time. Cleared. And we're going. Hugo holds it up and decides to continue the run. Ribeiro back out to Hugo. Over to Hernandez, DeVries, all the way out to Jose on the right. Rodriguez. Plays off to Hernandez, into the box. DeVries can't win the header. Falls to Ribeiro. 
Nandez. Arbia. Ow. Jose. I don't think we're going to be winning too many headers. Jow below, so that was pitiful. Hugo. Oh, 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 oh. oh, good chance. Hernandez to Jose. Now it's Jao Veloso. Rodriguez over the top, looking forward to freeze. He just kind of lets it go. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that goalie's last name. Davies back to the goalie. Jire. They're just passing it around way too easily. Davies. To Ansu Fatty. Oh, Rick back to Ansu Fatty. Looking for a teammate. And Musiala's through. Too easy, man. It's too easy. I haven't gotten an email yet about how the team is doing. But I know it's coming. If we were beating Wolves, Newcastle, whoever else we lost to, losing to Bayern wouldn't be that big of a deal. But it is the fact that we haven't been winning those games. And we are also losing to Bayern. Javaloso, come on, son. Brings one back. Bayern two, Chelsea one, 35th minute. Nicely done. DeVries assisting the assist. His rating isn't going to go up for it, but he did well there. Arbia just turns into traffic. Delict. Now with Hugo. Arbia. Dribbling forward. Go on, son. Into the box. DeVries. Falls to Ribeiro. Oh, yes! 2-2! Two, two. Oh, my God. What a turnaround. Okay. Maybe that seat isn't too terribly hot right now. I don't know what happened. Does DeVries get the assist? He might. He's up to a 6.5. Three minutes of stoppage time in the first half. Okay, 2-2 two, two and a half. We'll take, we'll take that. Just keep working hard. You'll be fine. Also, um, Wavelink software, you can um, basically download a compressor and it, in theory, cuts out kind of the, the clips. So when I was shouting Veloso, all right, it's out for a corner. When I was shouting Veloso, hopefully it didn't blow your ears out and I don't have to do more editing. 
because usually when that happens, um, I have to go in and kind of make a um, make a cut in the audio and drop the audio volume down a little bit. I usually crank it down like five or six decibels, and then that it's it's cheap editing. It's easy editing. The easy way out, I guess, is is the best way to put it. So hopefully with that that compressor, it will not allow that. Um, I am curious to see what it sounds like, and hopefully it's not just no audio. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Because I have noticed on uh, Lelujo's videos when he gets too terribly excited, uh, the, the audio just kind of cuts out with him screaming. And I, I don't want that. What I want is... A ceiling and when I hit the ceiling it doesn't let it go above the ceiling what I want it to do is what I don't want it to do is drop it completely to zero I don't know it's a whole I don't know if what I want is actually a thing that exists hopefully it does and hopefully it makes sense how I was explaining it it probably doesn't make sense at all but it makes sense to me, and that's what matters. Substitution o'clock. Anthony Arella coming on for Jose on the right. He is on a yellow. Guy Vink up front for Leon the Breeze. I don't think the Breeze got credit for the assist, which is why he is showing as a 6.3, which I would argue is more of a 6.5, 6.6, just because he's been involved in both goals, but not statistically. Javaloso to Hugo, a roll at top of the box. All right. All right, we'll take it. Away. Off the bar. Fire and throw. Uh, if we can squeak a 2-2 draw away from home. At what is it the Alliance Arena? Is that what Bayern's stadium is called? Closer. Good save, Diaz. Looks like he's going to be rolling it out. No, he's going to kick it. Nice. Souza. Over the top. Mm -mm. Begich. Looking for a teammate. Plays it off to his goalie. When that. Oh, Alright. Think. Ooh. Good save, keeper. We got a couple of guys that are very tired. Rodriguez is going to be one to come off very soon. Far post. Oh, that's a very good corner. Guy Vink was there. Let's take Rodriguez off. He's on 6-3. He's tired. I'm going to bring on Mikhail Mudrik on the right. And Ronald Silva in defensive midfield for Sergio Hernandez. Itchy nose. Got about 10 minutes left to play, plus stoppage. Guy Vink was probably offside there. Play continues. Carbia. This guy Vink. Offside. And Ribeiro's down. That's not ideal. Ray to Musiala. Davies out to Jire. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay.
Dyer with a long throw. Arola wins that header. Ball's too slow, sir. Now to Jire. Musa. Good save, Diaz. Ribeiro needs to come off here. Left wing, we're going to put Mudrick back out on the left and Balogun on the right. Sure. We're going to offer some encouragement. Oh. That's not ideal. Delict. Tight offside. Yeah, it's pretty tight. He was on. We're going to go attacking. I'll win that back. Okay. Yep, Mudrick. Guyving scores his first of the season. Scores before Leon DeVries does. Which is not a statistic you want when you are the first choice striker. Skyvink scoring. 3-3, three, three, six minutes of stoppage time. We are into another highlight. Davies. Musiala to Ray on the right. Squares at Tell. I think he was offside. Yep, referee raises his flag. Straight into another one. Javaloso. The Balligan. Souza over the top finds Arola on the right into the box. Mudrick. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> About three minutes left to play. <laughs> That's poor from Arola. That's poor from Delict. Deflection on the way, but it is saved. Atanye over to Davies, who skies it over the bar. And hopefully that'll bring us to full time, unless we have a chance here. Mudrick standing over the corner. Oh. Balligan. Oh. Oh, oh, boys, that's full time. 3-3, three, three. we'll take a draw away from home. We'll take that. Um, not a bad result. We'll take it. Um, hmm. Let's go straight to the game against Manchester City. And hopefully we don't get a, hey, we need to be making up some points in the league email. Because that scares me. There's, there's nothing available. But Chivas could be kind of fun, actually. We don't have to we're, we're not worrying about it right now. That's not a that's not a problem we have to deal with right this second. So let's just worry about Manchester City at home. It's a very big worry. Come on, as it takes forever to load, what is going on? Hello? Here we go. 
Erling Holland is sure to be a problem. Odebasha has been doing well in training. Luder Shot is doing just fine. A 6.5. I've had mixed results on talking to them being useful or not. So I typically just don't talk to them, especially if it's the only one that is there. Roll is out for a couple of days with a pulled groin. He will be missing out against Manchester City. Come on. All right. This should bring us to match day at home. Man City. Maybe. Here we go. Notifications on the watch. Um, St. Louis City 2 are playing Real Monarchs. It's halftime, nil nil. Right. Vesco is good to go. Arola will be missing out. Thompson is good for 45. Five. So he will slot in there in goal at home. Manchester City. Roberto Vesco. Back four of Jose, Matias, Select, Souza, and Hugo. Sandro Hernandez. No, Sergio Hernandez. Javaloso in the midfield. Sandro Rodriguez. Joffrey Carbia. Rodrigo Ribeiro with Leon DeVries up front. Honestly, this is Probably. This is probably DeVries' last chance to get on the score sheet. In all honesty, uh, I think. At some point, we need to make that decision to put him on the bench. And give either Cabria, Harbia rather, a chance up front. Guy Vink up front. We have options. Um, and the poor form. Got zero confidence. Chelsea in blue. City in white. Souza with the ball. Lays it off to Vesco. And immediately we give it up. Minus seven goal difference of the season. Not ideal. Devlin. Rojas. Patton. Cornell. Good ball up to Jeremy. Jabor. Holland trying to make a run. Somebody mark him, actually, before we get too far into the match. Well. Light marking. Something is arriving tomorrow. What is arriving tomorrow? I have no idea what's being delivered tomorrow. Is this the, um, the, the rest of my order? I think this is the best buy. So yeah, so I I bought the microphone, the camera, and the shock mount for the microphone from Best Buy. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. 
Um, oh, my hair, please. They had the camera and the microphone in stock in my local one. But the shock mount, they have to ship. I think that's what that notification was. That it was being delivered tomorrow. Which is cool, but we are 2-0 down against Man City. That second one was a very unfortunate one. DeVries desperate to get on the score sheet. He knows he's in the hot seat as well. Handball? Ref? Ref? Also, there's a good chance I'll probably be messing around with the camera. Trying to figure out exactly how, like what angle I want. Um, this angle seems to be the closest to what my previous webcam was. Um, just basically just a little bit taller and wider. Oh, DeVries, you're close, buddy. You're so close. But I am kind of tempted to kind of tilt it up a little bit more so you can see more of the stuff up here. Mm. I don't know. We're, we are an always evolving channel. Obviously, like, this is my first actual year doing it and committing to daily uploads. And honestly, I'm really enjoying it. I was going to play football manager anyway with my free time. I thought I might as well try to be creative and make some content and learn. Basically, video editing. Uh, my the entirety of my video editing is trial and error. A lot of YouTube videos, a lot of googling how to do this in Premiere Pro. Corner. And it's been this. This is a fun little project I've I've thrown myself into. Hmm. DeVries. There you go. Well done. All right. Coming up to halftime. Okay. After uh, tightly marking Erling Holland, it's seemed to slow down a little bit for City. You go far post, Souza. Oh my god, what a save, keeper. Oh wow, what a save. I was sure that was in. Rodrigo coming on for Diego Jabor. Okay, Rodriguez, go on. Hmm. Yun Sun Juan. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Jeremy Pino standing over the corner. Going to the far post. Well done by Jao Veloso. Hernandez dribbling forward now. Looking for some teammates. Hopefully finds Veloso. Everybody's all in one little corner. A little bit of space would be nice, boys. Delict on a yellow now.
Hmm. You know what I could do with the tactic as well? Have my left back as an inverted full back. And give you basically freedom to do what you want. Do something like this. You kind of fill this gap as well. And then you could basically be a box to box if you wanted, but put you on support. See what that looks like. We are going to take off Rodriguez. We're going to bring on Ludra Shot on the right. And go with that. It has started to rain here at Stanford Bridge. Javelosa lays it off to Delict again. Boys. Good save, Keeper. Hernandez, turn and go. Our counterattack is terrible. There we go, Jose. Go on, son. Go on, son. Go on, son. We'll take the corner. That was a good run. What if we go to attacking? What does that do for us? Final 20, 30 minutes. Go a little bit more attacking. Put on a little bit more pressure on City. Ribeiro. The DeVries. Harbia. Oh! Oh, you got away with it, son. Oh my god. We have to be scoring those. Another one. And we have these really good chances that we just can't convert. I mean, we're beating City on XG. Rogario, Jeremy Pino, now with Erling Holland. They're just passing it around freely. Good tackle. And out of nowhere. Keeper. Yep. All right, DeVries, you have had your time, my friend. Actually, let's see what you can do there. Put a base on for Hugo on the left. Double change in effect, and now Jeremy Pino. Yep, Mudrick. Corner. Mudrick with it. It's going to be the outswinger to the near post. Not, not good enough.
God. Mm. Jose. Mudrick shot well over the bar. Final five minutes, let's bring on Sky Vink. Six minutes of stoppage time. We should have drawn the match. Nineteen shots. It's simply not good enough. Oh. Alright, we don't have the email yet. Arteta looking at Leon DeVries. You sure you want him right now? Okay. When are we coming back? No idea. Benfica, Southampton? Get through a handful of matches and see where we're at in November? That sounds like a plan to me. That's where we're going to end it here today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All those fun things. And as always, we'll see you later.